And, you know, I thought coming right out of college, taking a little bit of the review class, oh, I should be able to pass the exam. Well, it wasn't the case. Um, Thank you so much for the interview today. Hello, Rosie. It is absolutely wonderful to see you again. And、uh, thank you for giving me the opportunity to join in this、uh, wonderful podcast.、Uh, I can tell you, I am always excited to talk about our profession, the profession that I love, and you especially. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you so much. You are just too nice. <laughs> so, before we start, a noob is an immediate past chair of American Institute of CPAs from 2022 to 2023. A noob is also an immediate past chair of Association of International Certified Professional Accountants. So, currently, a noob is a chief strategist at Analytical Mechanics Associates. Before that, He's the president of science systems and applications for almost 42 years. That's amazing. So, before we start the interview, could you just introduce a little bit more about yourself? Yeah,、um, uh, thank you again.、Um, so, as you know, I'm a CPA、uh, and a CGMA, which you know, stands for Chartered Global Management Accountant. Um, very excited about those、uh, designations.、Um, I live in Maryland.、Uh, I've lived here、um, really my entire time that I've been in the United States.、Um, I am married. I have two beautiful daughters.、Uh, they're both married. And I have three adorable grandkids.、Um, I work with a great company. You mentioned it Analytical Mechanics Associate as a chief strategist. Um, and as you said,、uh, very proud、uh, of my involvement with the AICP and the association.、Um, and uh, like I said, uh,、um, I enjoy what I do, I enjoy my work, I enjoy、uh, you know, my friends, and、uh, I, I enjoy talking about our profession. I would never ever forget the moment you share your stories, your, your accounting CPA story at AICPA Leadership Academy. I still remember I sit at the end of the room and I almost cried. I was so touching. I would love to let other people to feel how I feel about it. So, can you just <laughs> share with us your CPA journey from the very beginning? Why did you pick accounting journey? And how did you study for CPA exam? Okay, well,、uh, you heard that story, right? So, I actually chose、uh, accounting in high school. And、uh, it was really because of my father.、Um, my father was a chartered accountant,、um, and he practiced、uh, accountancy in、uh, three continents. Uh, Uh, in India, he did it in Africa and before coming to the United States. And he served our profession over 60 years and did mostly taxation.、Um, and, and I think the reason I went into accounting, because I, I saw my dad,、uh, saw how、uh, he was respected in the community, I saw how his clients trusted him, wanted his advice. I saw that and I, I kind of wanted to go into that profession.、Um, and I was also actually influenced by my high school teacher. I, I, th- I would say he validated that accounting is the right profession for me.、Uh, his name was Mr. Ed Miller,、uh, my high school teacher, 11th grade.、Um, and、uh, I think those were some of the things that、uh, really inspired me to go into accounting. My father, of course, my high school teacher. And I, that's why I have such a、um, great admiration for teachers and, and you know,、uh, in that profession.、Um, they can influence so many people in so many, in so many ways. So、um, I would say those were some of the things that got me into accounting.、Um, and then, of course, the CPA.、Um, uh, <laughs> You know, in the, in the back in the 80s when I、uh, graduated, it, it was almost a given that when you graduate with an accounting degree, you automatically sat for the CPA exam because it was natural progression. 
and just part of the uh, of a journey in joining that profession. Uh, I think back then it was all about uh, joining public accounting um, and getting your CPA uh, was kind of like the minimum requirement. And I remember that was my aspiration is to, after I got my accounting degree, uh, accounting degree, uh, sit for the CPA exam and then back then uh, joined the big eight. Back then it was the big eight, not the big four. Uh, so that was kind of the journey that everyone set out to. Um, so, uh, you know, that's why I decided I wanted to do the CPA. Um, but uh, I can tell you the journey to becoming a CPA wasn't easy for me. Um, and, and you know that story a little bit and let me share it with your audience here. So I, I started studying for the CPA exam right out of college. Um, you know, that's the best time to take the exam. Um, and uh, I took a review class that was offered by the university. Uh, I graduated from University of Maryland. Um, and, uh, you know, so they offered this review class and I joined that review class. Um, and then I took the exam and, you know, I thought coming right out of college, taking a little bit of the review class, oh, I should be able to pass the exam. Well, <laughs> it wasn't the case. Um, and uh, I took the exam, uh, the first time I took it, I passed one part, uh, it was practice. And I actually scored pretty well on that. And then I didn't pass the other three parts. Um, and so then back then the exams were given in May and in November. So you had to wait six months for to be able to sit again. So I did again and I didn't pass. Um, and I did that several times. Um, unfortunately, um, I didn't pass uh, and I actually gave it up and I gave it up because I just didn't think I could pass the exam. Um, and I gave it up for three years. Um, and then I decided to, uh, after encouragement from my dad, my wife, I decided to go uh, sit for it one more time. And uh, uh, the second time around, um, I joined another review class. And actually, that's one of the things that I uh, tell the students, find a review course that fits you the way you study. And I know the first one, it was, uh, I needed a lot of hand holding. And the second time around, the review class I took with that, um, it, it was all about holding hands. It was all about uh, putting you on a spot if you didn't, you know, uh, prepare yourself for, for that lecture that day. And that's the kind of encouragement and push that I needed. So I joined that review class and actually it kind of felt different um, that second time around because I, I, I was a lot more prepared. I was uh, spending more time studying um, and, and I was actually more committed. Uh, like I said, I put in a lot of effort uh, and I realized actually the first time around when I took the exam, I didn't put in the effort and that was the main difference, just putting in the effort. So, um, so the second time around, um, you know, uh, it was not the best time to take it because you're a little bit older. I was 30. Um, I was married. I had my first child. And I tell students that's not what you want to do. You want to take the exam as soon as possible. You know, it's a lot more easier studying. And then, of course, I was already uh, full time working. I was in mid-career, you know, I had been already working for about 10 years. So uh, it, those are not, you know, the best time. That's not when you want to take the exam. You want to take it right out of college. So anyway, um, I th thought I put in the effort and uh, the second time I took the exam um, and lo and behold, I passed. Um, and uh, I will tell you, it was probably one of the best days of my life with as if it, I remember it as if it happened yesterday. Um, I remember the whole um, uh, series of things that happened to me that day. I, I came home um, because I didn't uh, work too far from my home. I came home because I knew the results were coming that day. Opened the envelope, I saw the results. I uh, First thing I did was, uh, you know, uh, I drove uh, uh, to my dad's office. He, he worked about 40 minutes away and uh, wanted to share the news with him in person. Um, so uh, 
like I said, I, I, I remember it like it happened yesterday. It was such a proud moment, not only for me, I could just tell, tell by my dad's reaction. It was certainly a very, very proud moment for him as well. So that was kind of my uh, CPA journey. You know, like I said, it was not the most ideal and, and the most conventional way you should, should do this. But uh, so happy that, uh, uh, you know, I was able to pass it. That's, that's amazing. I still remember how I feel when I pass a CPA exam. It's, it's just amazing. Yeah. Right. And, and I'm sure you remember that day too, right? Uh, like it happened yesterday. And it, it, this is one of those moments that uh, you just don't know. Uh, you know and, and actually, you will remember for the rest of your life. And I know I'll remember it for the rest of my life. Yes. So you did mention that your high school teacher influenced you to study in, in accounting in college. What did he say to you or what did he do to you specifically that motivated you? Well, you know, so um, we had an accounting class in high school and generally people took that in their senior year, in your 12th grade. Um, so I, along with, I think there were like seven or eight other uh, students, uh, we decided to take it in 11th grade. And, um, and we really enjoyed it. And uh, since we were in 11th grade, Um, you know, uh, I think his encouragement, I think uh, the attention he gave us, I think the, you know, studying from a book and is one thing. But when somebody takes the time, which is why, I, you know, as I'm going around and talking to students and, and you know, uh, uh, academia, uh, uh, you know, the, the professors and things like that, I, I talk to them about connecting with the students. So this teacher, Mr. Ed Miller, connected with me and, and my other colleagues uh, about the, the, not just what's in the book, but how it applied to day-to-day -day life, right? Um, and, and I think that's what bound us together as a class uh, with those seven, eight people that were there. And at the same time, uh, kind of encouraged, to go, uh, encouraged us to go into Uh, accounting. So then in 12th grade, there was not another accounting class because remember, most of the students took it in their 12th grade. So what he did was to, for not all eight of us, but there were three, four of us that actually wanted to learn more. Uh, so he asked us to sign up for accounting again, and then that we would do independent study. So basically, uh, he gave us other workbooks and books to work with. And we just attended the same class, but we would do things on our own. So I kind of took two years of uh, um, accounting in high school. Um, and that helped uh, really uh, reinforce that this truly is something that I enjoy and I love. And well, the rest is history. <laughs> yeah, you did a lot more work than normal people did in high school for just accounting. We just like get the <laughs> pass the class, pass the exam, done and move on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I think it's a, it's important and that's why I think it's important that we bring uh, accounting back into high school. And uh, hopefully, you know, with the legislation that AICPA is, uh, is pushing um, and having accounting be recognized as STEM, uh, under STEM, uh, hopefully that will encouraged uh, high school uh, to start to offer, um, you know, uh, accounting classes uh, uh, at that level. Yeah. Yeah. You also mentioned that uh, it was struggling for you to study for CPA exam in the first time because you didn't really put effort in the first yes. time. And so for the three years gap that you did not study for the CPA exam and you work as a full time job, what did your wife say to you or your, your or your dad told you that make you really want to go back and study for CP exam again after that long time three year gap because three years is not it's not like one or two years right after graduate is not easy it's it, no it wasn't easy I, I think it was uh, I was turning 30 and you know you have reflections in your life when you turn 30 when you turn 40 when you turn 50 right 
uh, for me it was uh, when I turned 30 um, and I looked at my career, looked at what I was doing and uh, really, you know, it was a kind of that moment that says, I really haven't accomplished much. I haven't really done much, uh, even though I have a good job, I was working well. Um, so I think that was part of the reflection that I was turning 30 and uh, uh, just found myself not satisfied with what I had done so far, even though, like I said, I had a good job and was working, making money, but uh, it, something was missing. And it was that because I, you know, that was, uh, as I said, in, in um, back in 80s, you know, once you get your accounting degree, that was it. That The next step is getting your CPA. And I felt that one, that piece was missing from my life. I see, I see. And the day that you knew you passed a CPA exam, it was a very special day. And you did share with us at the AI CPA Leadership Academy class, the moment when you came in your dad's office, I still picture in my mind how it looks like in my imagination. Can you share with our audience how was your special day? How, how did you feel when you walk in your dad's office and how proud he was when he knew that you passed a CPA exam? Yeah, so uh, like I told you, right, back then, you know, we didn't have cell phones. So I'm glad we didn't have cell phones. Otherwise, I would have probably picked up the phone and give him a call, right? But this was meant more, it was more special this way. So I drove, uh, like I said, about 40 minutes away. Um, and I walked into my dad's office and he was surprised to see me because in the middle of the day, what am I doing there? Um, and, uh, you know, I sat in a, a, a across from him a, in his office and uh, just light conversation. He had no idea. Um, and then after about 10 minutes of conversation, I walked up uh, uh, to where he, he was sitting, you know, behind his desk and literally stood next to him. And I, I extended my hand uh, and I said, Dad, uh, shake hands with the CPA. And I can tell you his hands were trembling and... Uh, um, you know, like I said, I remember that as if it happened yesterday. Um, it was a proud moment, I know that. And then he grabbed my hand and uh, took me around his office, introduced me to his partners there, and that, hey, meet my son, CPA. So I, I know it was a special day for him, special day for me. Uh, it was February 3rd, 1991, by the way. I, I remember the date as it uh, also. Um, and uh, I remember in, in our... Indian custom um, when good things happen you offer sweets so on my way back from my dad's office I, I went to an Indian grocery store and picked up a box of sweets and when I came back to the office I started giving those sweets out to uh, everyone in the office because uh, I you know celebrating the fact that I had uh, passed the CPA oh my gosh that's amazing that, that was yeah. a very, very proud moment. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and I, you know, I, I tell you, uh, and I shared this with uh, some of the students that I've talked to. I said, look, uh, when you pass that exam, it, it truly is a special moment and they need to celebrate. Um, you know, it, it's not like an exam you take in college. This truly is something special. It's a special moment. And I think everybody needs to celebrate it. And I think the people around uh, you need to celebrate with you because it's a major accomplishment. And I, I, I one of the things that, uh, again, I, I to emphasize is that we can't do this alone. Um, none of us can do this alone. And it's through the support system we have with family and friends. Um, I remember, uh, you know, the, the four months or so that I was studying you know, I had those conversations with my family. I had those conversations with my friends um, that, hey, I may not be around much in the next couple of months because I, I, I just got to focus and study for this. And, you know, they supported me. They, they knew how important this was. So I, I think one of the things that uh, I leave behind and, and hopefully the audience that listens to this uh, or looking to aspire to become CPAs they're listening that you can't do this alone. You, you need a good support system and you have to have those conversations with the, uh, your family and friends 
letting them know the importance uh, of passing the exam and and allowing I mean and letting them know that you know they may you may not be around much uh, during that time uh, and and that they you're looking for their support and I think that's I, I got that I got that from my company I got that from my family I got that from my friends and uh, another thing important is uh, you know, uh, most students these days, and in fact, I was at uh, another university just yesterday, and I was talking to students that are just graduating, by the way, uh, in master with masters, and some of them already taken CPA one or two parts of the CPA exam and passed actually. And I was telling them that um, uh, you know it's important that you have those conversations with the uh, with your you know the managers that you work for or the partners you work for, and uh, you know, get that support. And if they're not willing to support you, then, you know, you have to take a look at whether that's the place you want to be. Yeah, I'm just curious, how was your wife's reaction when she knew that you passed a CPA exam? Oh, she was, she was ecstatic. She was ecstatic. Uh, um, in fact, I think if, before I even went to my dad's office, I went to her office, which was literally behind my house because it, 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 she worked very close and I went and told her uh, first and before I drove to my dad's place. That's, that's just amazing. I still remember when I passed a CPA exam and I told my fiance at that point that, that at that point I passed a CPA exam. I was so excited because I passed it in the last week of the 18 month window. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh yeah. Well. <laughs> That was, yeah. I was very nervous because if I didn't pass it, I have to retake the, the section I already passed before. So I was like, right. that's not just over excitement, but also a huge relief for me. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, you know, I, even though I had passed that one section my first time around, I lost all of that because I didn't pass it in time, you know? So I can I can imagine how important. So I'm glad that uh, you you finished it in that 18 month period, and I'm glad that we're now moving to moving that 18 month to uh, 30 months. You know. Yeah, that's super helpful. Yeah, 18 months yes. window and working full time is sometimes very difficult to study. Absolutely. And to yes. maintain the and work. I, I I'm glad. I mean, you know, like I said, things are complicated. I mean, life is complicated. Um, and, you know, especially when you start working and then, you know, like me with family and all of that, um, you know, you have to juggle all of that. And so I, I'm so excited that uh, 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 NASBA is, was able to move that period to 30 and making that uh, one of the considerations.